feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers. And we went in after we got done washing our hands and she got a piece of candy from grandma and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. And I said, okay. And I walked her all the way over to the porch. And I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV. And I told the boys, I said, watch Summer. I'll be back. And within two minutes, I came back. And I asked the boys where their sister was. And they said, she went downstairs, Mom, to play with her toys in the playroom. I said, okay. And I yelled downstairs for her a couple times. And I didn't get no answer. Which was unusual because usually she always answers. And so I went down there to check and she was nowhere in sight. She was just gone. I don't go on walks around here or runs because I'm scared of the bears and snakes. And even the coyotes that are around here. Well, whoever has my daughter, I pray and hope that they have not harmed her and they bring her back to us safe and sound. Just turn, I mean, go to the FBI, the police, and uh, clear it up. I mean, I don't know, it seems kind of elusive. Hey everybody, just want to talk a little bit about um, a young girl in Tennessee, um, Summer Moon, <laughs> Utah Wells. I think that's a hippie name if ever I heard one, but um, she's missing. Um, did my little research. What I see, what I've noticed from the evidence is Somebody kept reporting the family to Child Protective Services. The mother and the father, they, you know, they're just ordinary Joes. I guess they inherited some land or, I don't know, got a deal. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. But their grandma moved up there and she's living in a camper. From what I see, whoever was writing these um, statements on Facebook or whatever about um, how nasty the house was and how trifling the mother was and all that kind of stuff, I think it was a crew of people got together and decided to take that little girl <clears throat> away from that environment. Um, I really believe that and um, I think when the mother said that she took the child into the house or watched the girl go into the house um, she was high <clears throat> she was high or intoxicated or um, partially high I, I don't believe she was like sober at all um, so I believe the child went in the house and came right back out. The mother said she was gone for like two minutes. Well, when you hide two minutes, you know, so people can tell you, you know, I'll be over your house in a minute. I'm down the street. And uh, it might take them two hours to get there. So um, I'm thinking she was high. Uh, she wasn't telling the story correctly. Um, she was leaving stuff out. You know, um, she got there and all of a sudden she got people thinking, well, they got to the house and started planting flowers. Well, if that was the case, she didn't check on her children, the ones that were supposedly left there cleaning up. Um, she didn't take the milk until, you know, it's just a bunch of, you know, stuff that didn't make any sense. So I'm figuring it didn't make any sense because she was high, um, intoxicated, and she just was skipping over different stuff. 
I'm thinking somebody um came up through those woods by um, on the same side that the grandma's camper is on. They came up through the woods, past that house that's down there at the foot of the hill, and um, they caught summer outside by the work shed or you know behind those cars. She's small, and um, that's when they they grabbed her. But I don't think they grabbed her to kill her or rape her. I think they just grabbed her to take her away from um, that environment. I believe she's still okay. Um, but I believe that they'll never see her again. Because somebody obviously thought that they were some trifling parents. And that the girl had a better chance of you know being raised by other other people that's what i think based on the evidence